Hello guys, and today we've got a misfire on this box from Marker. We've already diagnosed it. And it's came back with the sprite plugs and coil pack. And to start off with, you just remove this cover here by putting it off. And then we're gonna get our T40 torx bit and remove this plug here, which we now do. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this plug. Just gonna pull the orange tab across, push it down and pull the plug across. I need two hands for this one, so bear with me. So now we've got that plug off, we're just gonna check the terminals inside, make sure none of them mounted or damaged, which they're not. So we're gonna start by removing the coil pack now. Side up, pull the other side and pull up it in the middle. So we're just gonna inspect each of these. They all seem to be good. The reason why people put grease around them is to make sure no water gets in there. So now we're gonna start by removing our spark plugs. So we're using a 10 mil spark plug socket. As you can see, you've got the rubbers in there, which sit on top of the spark plugs to pull them out. So I'll start by removing those. And please do not use impact guns or anything on these. I've had multiple people I've worked with put impact guns on these and just shatter the ceramic. It goes, out, goes down into the cylinders and absolutely destroys the pistons and start up. enjoyed your bank holiday weekend for those who've had them I did I was ill for most of it and did the garden for the other half of the holiday so we're just going to do these with our hands until they're loose I'm going to come back to this once they're all loose. Since our special house socket did not grab my spark plugs, we're going to use a telescopic magnet. Some people use long nose pliers. So we're just going to pop it in there and pull them out. And same again with the bolts. If you haven't had the engine running, these are going to be hot. So we're just going to put it down and fire in order. So taking a quicker, closer look, these have gone really hot and as you can see by the electrode on the top, they are definitely warm, original spark plugs as well, the old champion, another one there. We'll compare it with a new spark plug now. So we've got our new spark plugs and we've checked the gaps. I use all the data for our technical information. But if you look at the electrodes and the gap on this first new one, it's very flat. 
around the gap. If you look at one, the second one, that gap is quite big, which can cause a misfire. So now we're going to fit the inspiring plugs so we don't damage the gap on the spark plug I like to change the run back in with my magnet Before we move on, just a bit of advice, make sure you inspect every spire plug and check the gap with the specifications for that vehicle and check the ceramics because I have had new spire plugs turn up with cracks in them and obviously we don't want that. So that's all the spire plugs in, we've got a new coil pack, I'm just going to gently pop it in. Put a bit of pressure on it, side to side. Make sure all the little O-rings are seated nicely in there. And we're just gonna pop our bolts back in. Just hands down those, make sure we don't cross the front. Now we've got that in, we've got our core plug back in and what is that stuff on there? Just gonna pop the fire cover back on. And that's that. Now before starting the car, we're gonna diagnostic machine and clear the codes first. Because I have seen people start the cars first and they still got a misfire code on there, what causes it to still misfire. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.